All right, so it's Friday, so that means today we're talking about the recap of the Thursday night football game between the Browns and the Bengals. And since it's Friday and all of the injury reports are coming out, we'll go ahead and dive into some news heading into this weekend that could affect the games coming up on Sunday and Monday. So let's dive right into it. A lot to talk about. So we'll begin with the Thursday night football recap. Browns win over the Bengals 35-30. to Browns get the pennant. I get the green check mark for accurately predicting this. 2-0 and to start the season for uh, Thursday night football for me. And that moves my record to 11 and 6. So the winning continues. Uh, Baker Mayfield had a good game, 219 yards passing, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, Nick Chubb had a great, great night. This was a uh, huge wake up call that fantasy football owners have been waiting for 124 yards on the ground, two scores. Kareem Hunt also had a pretty good night, too. Uh, Odell Beckham leads receivers for the Browns with four catches, 74 yards, and a touchdown. Probably should have had another one, but referees. <laughs> uh, on the Cincinnati side, Joe Burrow. Really, I mean, if I could just, you know, sort of opine for a moment, Joe, Joe Burrow looks everything, you know, as advertised, if you will. The way that he climbs the pocket, pocket presence that he has, you know, the inexperience does show. But at the same time, I think this kid is going to be something special for this league. And it's going to take probably a little bit longer for him uh, to sort of ascend to the ranks that currently is occupied by guys like Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. But I'm very excited about Joe Burrow. He looks like the real deal. And he had a pretty good night last night, 316 yards, three touchdowns. Mixon and the running game was absolutely stuffed. I think they were averaging 2.7 or 2.9 yards per carry last night, so nowhere really for them to go. Mixon gets 46 yards on the ground, no scores. Uh, Giovanni Bernard had a score, but it ended up getting uh, reviewed, and they had him down at the one. Uh, Tyler Boyd leads the receiving core with seven catches, 72 yards, and a touchdown. There was also the, um, the emergence, if you will, of Drew Sample, who was a second-round pick two years ago. But he's primarily a blocking tight end, so for uh, this to occur is kind of a little bit of a breakout performance for him. So um, we'll see how that you know continues going on. But if I'm playing fantasy football, I'm probably not picking up Drew Sample, who, as I've said, has been a career blocking tight end up until this point. Uh, the next game for the Browns is the Washington football team. The next game for the Bengals will be the Eagles. Bengals move to 0-2. Browns move to 1-1. They get in that win column. And that was the confidence that I had going into this game because I wasn't ready to write off this Kevin Stefanski offense quite just yet because I knew what, what it would take for it to work. And um, I also didn't want to write off the Browns because it was just one game and it was against the Baltimore Ravens in the opener who are at worst a top three or four team in this league. So you know, you never want to just see something happen and then assume that that's what's going to happen uh, into the future. So uh, that is the Thursday night football game. Uh, Baker Mayfield looked much better, much more relaxed. The play action rollouts are absolutely what he needs to get going uh, to get his confidence built up. Uh, Nick Chubb had an amazing game, just all around good performance for the Cleveland Browns. I would, you know, be a little bit concerned about the defense given the fact that they gave up 30 points and a pretty stellar performance to a rookie quarterback, even if it is Joe Burrow. But um, the, the defense needs to figure out how to shore itself up, especially in the secondary, uh, because they're not going to be playing the Bengals. Uh, only, they only play the Bengals one more time this year. So uh, also before we move into the news, hat of the day is the Minnesota Wild, because the report came out today that they will be moving on from Miko Koivu and not resigning him. So the captain of many, many years is gone. I was, I'm only, I've only been a Minnesota Wild fan for one season, so but still I got to see his 1,000th game and a bunch of other things so uh it will be tough but and he will be missed uh but that is sort of why i'm wearing the hat today <laughs> it's not an nfl hat go figure uh so for the news uh for the t uh today uh we did the video yesterday about the offensive line shuffling for the vikings uh with the pat elf line move to ir where he will be lost for three weeks so that opens up a roster spot on the offensive line and they decided to get brett jones from the practice squad which makes sense because he's a backup center so they they can um you know uh, that was originally um, um, Pat Elfline's role was the backup center and starting right guard. Uh, so now uh, Brett Jones will be the swing interior and backup Bradbury if something were to happen to him. Also, they got Josh Metellus because Cam Dantzler, Cam Dantzler is going to miss this weekend's game with a rib injury. So that gives them more depth in the secondary. Now, for the bad news, especially for fantasy players, uh, Kenny Galladay has been uh, reported that he will sit out this weekend, reported by Tom Pelissero. Uh, so they will miss him for the second straight week. Uh, George Kittle will be out with that knee sprain that he suffered in that uh, jumping attempted catch that he had to make on the Jimmy Garoppolo pass. Uh, so he will miss this Sunday as well. Jack Doyle has been rolled out for the Colts. Uh, the Steelers do not list James Conner on the injury report for Friday. So it all signs are pointing to be that he will be in and is set to go. How much of a you know contribution or impact is he going to make against Denver? 
I don't know. Denver's not a very good defense. They're not a very good team in general. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers will absolutely establish dominance against them in their first home game. I don't know how much they're going to need out of James Conner. Um, so, again, if you're, I'm not trying to give fantasy football advice, but if you're a James Conner owner, maybe you just leave him on the bench and see what happens this week. Uh, for the New York Jets, probably the worst case scenario that I've been waiting to happen, and that's Jameson Crowder is going to miss this Sunday, so he will be out. And uh, Sam Darnold now has nothing but spare parts and scrap pieces of paper to throw to, so I expect the Jets to get absolutely decimated. Also don't have Le'Veon Bell, as we've already mentioned, they will be ha handing off to Frank Gore uh, for the majority of the game. So the Jets' offense is going to look pretty putrid, um, and I don't know how anybody could figure otherwise, but if they are able to pull out a miracle, it's going to be just that, a miracle. And then the final news of the day is uh, uh, Uzuma. Uzoma? Uzuma? I don't really know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> the tight end for the Bengals. They got hurt in the game last night. Torn Achilles, he's out for the year. So that will uh, allow Drew Sample to take over. Maybe they get another tight end from uh, somebody, somebody's practice squad because I don't know if a, I don't know if a, you know, a strictly blocking tight end is going to be able to sort of handle a, you know, the rest of the workload for the season. They're going to want to get Joe Burrow another reliable target, at least in my mind. So that is going to be the news of the day. Um, also, one more quick breaking news uh, that uh, I saw post on the line right before I hit the record button is that the Eagles are meeting with uh, Devontae Freeman. So maybe there's some injury news that we haven't discovered yet. So Devontae Freeman, a visit with the Eagles is pretty intriguing. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.